Hey, what's going on guys? And today I wanted to do a video review for the Sound Blaster G6. So this is actually an external sound card created by Sound Blaster. And I wanted to go through in this review, I'm gonna talk about the actual device itself, um, I'm going to talk about a comparison of this versus the Steel Series Game DAC Pro, which is this little unit here, kind of a comparable unit that I've had and been using for a while. And then I'm actually going to go through the Sound Blaster command software and show you some of the features if you decide to get this unit and actually hook it up to um, the software application that Creative um, has actually created for this. So. Um, going through the actual device itself, it's fairly straightforward. Um, basically, you have your output here on the front left, which basically you can plug in your headset unit. Um, this does accept only an um, aux output here, so whatever you're going to be plugging into this, um, you're not going to be able to plug in, say for example, like a USB headset into this, um, as that's not really going to work to amplify your sound. So that's something you may want to just consider depending on the headset that you're using or what you're planning to use this for. You have a microphone um, input here. This is basically a dial that will increase the volume. And on the back, you have um, an optical line in and an optical line out. And then you have your USB cable, which then plugs into the back of the computer. So um, fairly straightforward. You can customize the RGB on this as well. So if you wanna change the colors or how this actually works, like you can make it pulse or go through different colors, um, you can customize this through the Creative app. So let's actually talk a little bit about the sound quality of this. Now, in my particular case, I have the Steel Series Arctic Pro, uh, or actually I think it's the Arctis Pro is how you pronounce it. And this is a particular um, headset that actually came with what they call the Game DAC, which is basically a similar USB-based um, control panel here. Um, this allows me to basically amplify the sound that's coming into the headset. Now, one of the reasons I decided to go with this is I was reading some comments online and found that people were talking about this actually being a better amplifier, um, having better software, and I decided to just try it out for myself. Now, while the Steel Series does have some software and other functionality, you can do high fidelity audio with it. Um, it has USB connectivity and many of the uh, same things that you'd be looking for. Here's a line out, USB connection, optical, and then mobile. Um, it's more or less doing very similar functionality as what this is actually doing. Um, I think for many of you, if you were to go out and buy, you can buy the Arctis Pro, say for example, um, by Steel Series, you can get just this headset and you could match this up with this. And overall, I found the sound quality of the Sound Blaster to be a lot better than what the Steel Series unit was producing. So, um, my biggest caveat was playing games like Escape from Tarkov or say, for example, Hunt Showdown, games where you really need to be um, listening to directionals, right? Other examples of this might be playing like Battlefield or Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, any games where you really need to be focused on specific uh, precision movements as to where people are coming, if they're coming behind you um, at a specific direction. And probably for me, the biggest game I'm playing right now is Hunt Showdown, where it's just extremely critical to know where someone's maybe throwing a grenade at you or using um, something, they're about to come around a corner, right? And you need to know exactly where they are and really time that um, based on the actions that you're gonna be taking in the game. So I found with this, um, there's actually a lot of built-in options with the creative software, and I'll kind of show you this here just going through everything. You have a Sound Blaster profile that you're gonna pick from, and you can see right now I have this on the FPS setting. So this basically adjusts a surround setting, the crystallized the bass, it has a smart volume setting and then a dialogue setting. Now, I'm not really 100% sure how some of these will affect the sounds. I haven't played around too much with a custom um, acoustic engine, if you will, but I've just used some of the basic templates. One of the really cool things I like about the creative option here is they actually have profiles for most of the popular games. So they actually have like a Call of Duty based um, sound setting. They have one for Arena of Valor, Apex Legends, um, action adventure games, movies, music, and then a general gaming one among many other games. So if you actually go through this, um, here's one for Counter-Strike, Dota, for driving games, Fortnite, um, just general first person shooters, which is usually what I'm using, um, League of Legends, Metal Gear Solid, Overwatch, um, PUBG, Project Cars, real-time strategy games, Rocket League, and RPGs as well as Stadium, and they even have one for The Witcher. So I think it's really cool that, um, you know, Creative actually went in and spent the time 
to create all these profiles and basically create custom settings for all of these. And then of course you can go in and set up the equalizer settings and do your own um, customizations here if you want. You have all your playback settings so you can kind of simulate speakers, headphones, you have different modes, audio quality settings. Um, you could do recordings as well. So if you're recording anything, you've got a huge amount of settings in here for that. Noise reduction, um, echo cancellation, smart volume settings. And then they have this really cool mode called scout mode. Now, if you're someone that plays a lot of shooting games, this is going to be really cool because what this does is it basically says it's designed to help you hear beyond what you see, such as footsteps, speech, and weaponry handling acoustic characteristics without involving the use of explicit frequency shaping for a complete gaming experience. You can actually set this with a hotkey. And essentially what this does is, um, I'll use an example in something like Hunt Showdown where, you know, I'm running around with my teammates. Um, pretty much what's happening is I'm able to hear the footsteps of my own character and the players around me, both my teammates and enemies, uh, very easily. It's much more profound. Now, I found that Steel Series actually had a setting in beta that does something very similar, but it just felt very um, not polished, right? Like it was almost like the footsteps were so profound that I couldn't hear the other sounds. I couldn't hear things like gunfire in the games or other things that I really needed to hear that I thought would be really critical. And overall, um, I found that the scout mode with the creative system and with this actual sound card was I was able to still hear all the sounds that I really needed to be hearing, but the footsteps were a lot louder as well. So I've kind of played with this in and out. I found for games like Hunt where I think I do need to hear a little bit more of everything a little bit more equally, it's probably not going to be as useful. But for games like maybe Overwatch or say like Counter-Strike, um, Call of Duty, you may find that using this is probably going to help you quite a bit. You've also got a decoder setting here. You can do some stuff with like Dolby Digital. You've got your mixer, all your lighting settings. So again, I can come in here and let's say for example, I click on orange here. I can now change this and you can see it just changes right on the device. So pretty straightforward. And then of course you've got your sign in settings um, and just general settings as well for um, you know startup and windows, things like that, updates. So fairly straightforward, but yeah, I'm very, very happy with this sound card. Um, I would say the only two um, things that I've found to be an issue is I wish the USB cable was a little bit longer. Um, not really a huge deal breaker, but the other thing I've found is that for some reason, whenever I boot my computer, it doesn't seem to recognize the USB device. That could again be something in Windows, but usually every time I boot my machine and I go to do anything with sound, obviously, which is most things, playing games, things like that, I have to unplug this and replug it back in. Um, slight nuisance, but again, not a deal breaker for me. And I found, you know, for the value and the amount of sound that this is amplifying my headset versus the actual um, Steel Series game deck that came with this headset, I think that this is definitely worth the um, worth the value that you're getting out of it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video review, and I'll talk to you later. Um, I actually found a pr pretty good deal on it. I'll put a link to that in the comment below so you can check that out if you are interested in picking one up for yourself.